It's the battle for the biggest, a test for the best. Four of the top and the most requested colleges in India go head to head and let's see how they perform. Welcome to College Suggest. And in this video, we're putting Bits Pilani up against MIT, VIT and SRM. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications about your favorite colleges, college comparisons, courses, careers and much more. As always, we only consider the facts that are submitted by the college to the NIRF. Other facts are directly sourced from the respective colleges websites. We'll leave the links in the description below. Starting with the NIRF rankings, VIT is the highest ranked private institute in 2019 at number 18. Bitspilani follows it at number 25. SRM is ranked at number 36. And finally, Manipal is ranked at number 43. Both VIT and Bits Pilani have dropped in ranks in the last three years but continue to remain as the top two highest rated private institutes in India. SRM and Manipal have been slightly changing their position on the table in the past but show great desire to score higher in the coming years. Manipal has a beautiful campus spread across 188 acres. SRM is well developed and spread across 250 acres. VIT has a massive 350 acre campus, while Bits Pilani rules over 990 acres of campus area, of which 50 acres are developed. All the colleges have great sports facilities for football, basketball, tennis, cricket, volleyball, swimming, and much more. When it comes to hostel facilities, VIT runs a total of 23 hostels, of which 17 are for boys and 6 for girls. Bits Pilani opens doors to 11 boys' hostels and 1 girls' hostel. SRM Kartan Kulatur provides a total of 21 hostels. 14 of them are for boys and 7 of them are for girls. Finally, Manipal is also known to provide some of the best hostel facilities in the country for their students through their Home Away From Home initiative. Cleaning services, laundry and Wi-Fi are some of the facilities provided here. VIT Velu has the biggest intake of the lot, with 6,883 UG engineering seats, followed by SRM, which is open to 4,745 UG engineering seats. Bits Pilani comes with 2,640 seats, while Manipal University is open to 1,860 seats. All four years put together, about 20,900 students are pursuing their undergraduate engineering at VIT. SRM is close behind with 20,300, while Bits Pilani and Manipal house 9,731 and 8,065 respectively. VIT seems to be the place that's most preferred by students from outside the country with 780 students from abroad. SRM has 401 students from outside the country, while Manipal has 185. Bits Pilani has a total of 90 students from outside India. Manipal has the best faculty-student ratio of the lot, with a faculty for every 13 students. SRM is the next best, with a faculty for every 14.3 students, followed by VIT, with a faculty for every 15.8 students, while Bits Pilani only has a faculty for every 21.2 students. Wondering about placements in these colleges? From the last batch of students, SRM placed 2,874 UG students with a placement percentage of 96.9. Next in line is Bits Pilani with a placement percentage of 85.15, placing 1,610 students. VIT is not far behind, placing 2,311 students with a placement percentage of 80.8. .8. Manipal Institute of Technology placed 896 students with a placement percentage of 57.54. All these colleges have superb placement opportunities and top companies visit them every year for recruitment. Companies like Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Deloitte, Dell, Accenture, TCS, Samsung, HCL, Oracle and many many others hire from these colleges. While considering the average salary package of a place student, Bits Pilani is way ahead with an average salary of Rs 11 lakhs per annum. 
Next in line is Manipal, where students were offered an average of Rs. 5,50,000 per annum. VIT is just behind Manipal, where students were offered Rs. 5,20,000 per annum. SRM's average salary package is the lowest among the lot, with Rs. 3,60,000 per annum. With regards to the annual capital expenditure, which includes libraries, lab equipment and workshops, SRM has spent over 43.4 crores. VIT is the next big spender with 37.8 crores. Bits Pilani has spent 29.8 crores, while Manipal has spent just over 9 crores. VIT has spent the most for annual operational expenditure on salaries, academic infrastructure, conferences and seminars with a staggering 646.7 crores. SRM has spent 314.2 crores, while Bits Pilani has spent 212.5 crores on the same. Manipal again has spent the least with 170 crores. Last year, VIT published 26 patents of which 3 were granted. SRM and Bits Pilani published 31 and 11 patents respectively, but none were granted. Manipal, however, published 9 patents of which one of them was granted. VIT has received sponsored research funding of over 16 crores for 145 research projects. SRM is not far off as they've received 15.2 crores for 79 projects. Manipal on the other hand has received 13.2 crores for 60 projects and Bits Pilani has received 5.3 crores for 56 projects. All these colleges not only have a great academic profile but also ensure to nurture their students with a number of cultural events. SRM throws its annual cultural event, the Milan. VIT has its annual cultural festival, the Rivera. Manipal organizes the Rivels and Bits Pilani celebrates with the Oasis every year. Well, all these colleges have their own strengths, outperforming each other in different avenues and are ranked high up on the table, and they deserve it. They offer top quality education with a fun learning environment and the placements and salary packages are among the best in the country. If you ought to consider any of these colleges, well, you're in safe hands. Let us know what colleges we should compare next in the comments section below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. For more information, visit collegesuggest.com.